Hey, you broads. This is your girl, Queen Chan Chan. Hey, girl, hey. This is a broadcast podcast, our second show. Thank you so much for listening. We are so excited to have you on our journey. Girls and boys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the podcast. And, hunty, tighten up those panties. So, it is the end of November, and we finally launched our first show. Edward, OMG, I cannot believe it's happening. I spoke to my web manager crew, and we are a go. Lots of new things will be happening with the podcast and this new production company that I'm building. I'm so excited. I'm here once again, of course, with my amazing guest co-host, Edward Carr. Edward is an entertainment business professional and entrepreneur, and most of all, my great friend. Great friend after one episode, too. So we're still friends, right? Of course, of course. Round two. Round two, man. Here we are. I can't believe it. Um, It feels really good. It seriously does. We launched it today, um, and the reviews are coming in, and they're great, and they're positive, and they're encouraging. My friends are loving it. People are loving it, and um, it feels really, really good. I just hope it sustains that we have a great following. (laughs) We have so much to look forward to, and I'm here for it. Uh, but Edward, what are your thoughts? On I the mean, episode? look, it was, there was a little bit of technical stuff uh-huh. happening, right? Okay. You uh-huh. know, and we got there, uh-huh. but I think it really worked out in the end. I mean, it was, it was good that we got it down to an hour, mm. or a little less than an hour. I think it was. That was our but, goal. Yeah, it was our goal. And I think it, it, it listens well. If you listen to it, um, it, it definitely flows and I want people to like, feel like they're a part of the conversation though instead of listening to a conversation. Right. So that's one of the goals that I hope we can kind of like work on and maybe make 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 a little bit better. Not that it was it's, bad. It's funny because my friend Stephen called me and he loved it. And he said it felt like he was sitting with us, like he good. was having a conversation with good. us. That's my goal. That's that is our the goal. goal. Yeah, okay, Because good. we want to make sure that you guys feel comfortable. We want, we, we want you to, we want to be listened or we want you to listen to us in your car, your kitchen, right. your bedroom. At work. Feel like you could just jump in and say something. Feel like you jump in and say, yes, girl, yes, I I agree, or Or, I I have something to say. Or you disagree. Or you disagree. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. It's like, we're not going to turn away the people that disagree. Absolutely. We we should have a healthy conversation on... A lot of topics. A lot of topics that you can disagree on. you and I are not going to agree on everything. Absolutely not. And that's what's going to create a great banter. Yes, I agree. I would like, in future episodes, kind of explore things like that about how... You see the world and how I see the world. Absolutely. It's different. It's, it is different. And it's, it's literally black and white. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, and that, well, that's what we want to have a conversation. Yes. Because what what did I say? What was my um, goal for last week was to get people's perspectives. perspectives. And yes, you're not going to agree with me 100% and I'm not going to agree with you 100%. The people that I'm going to have on the guest as other guest hosts, we're not going to agree. Right. I'm going to have some politicals on here. You are. And it's going to get greasy. And I know you have some friends that are like, honey, lefty, 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 lefty. And I have some righty, righty <laughs> yeah, friends. I love it. I, you know, but if, if, if we were all, I mean, not in terms of color of our skin, but if we were all white on a certain side, if we were mm-hmm. all black, if we were all pink, if we were right. all green, this world would be boring. Yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. yawn, yawn no, yawn. I'm not going to have. That's why I have 17 different wigs. <laughs> <laughs> on for Monday. For my <laughs> For Monday. For Monday. Right. I yeah. have it for 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 <laughs> exactly. o'clock, 12 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So is, if there's a reason why I love my wigs is because all my wigs have different personalities. Absolutely. Different feelings. If right. I wanted to wear one wig, I would just wear my regular afro that I, my regular hair. Right. And I'm like, ah, that'd be boring to me. We don't want that. We don't want that. So we want diversity. And inclusiveness and opinions. Uh, speaking of diversity, mm. what did we have for dinner tonight that mm. was so like tasty? Because it was, it was diverse. Well, I, mean, I am drinking diverse <laughs> so flavors. I'm drinking some yummy mailbag wine, which is everybody knows that mailbag is my favorite. But tonight we had DoorDash deliver. DoorDash is a competitor, if you want to say. With Postmates. Oh, yes. They're gaining traction, by the way. Oh, they are. Postmates is losing. Postmates, I want. I would love for you to sponsor the show. Sure would. <laughs> DoorDash, we need some sponsorships, FYI. DoorDash has some good alliteration, too. There's it, nothing like a good alliteration. Like, Absolutely. DoorDash, it's yeah. great. But mm-hmm. um, I've been using DoorDash more than Postmates. Okay. Hashtag DoorDash, hashtag sponsors. Nice. Um, and we ordered through Cafe Vita, which is a restaurant in Culver City. Mm-hmm. 
And what did I text you today? I said, what do we want for dinner? And you said something healthy, something light. Something light. So I ordered, you said you wanted the barbecue salad. How was your barbecue salad? It was good, but it had a little bit of tang to it. It was like real tangy. They was put it the, the chicken. Dressing? It was the, the chicken. So they it marinated chick? the chicken oh, okay. and then they, the barbecue sauce that was on the chicken was really tangy. Not bad. Okay. Not saying it was bad. It was delicious. So it had like beans in it, a little bit of corn. And... Did you like that? Yeah, it was totally okay. fine. Like the fixings. Yeah, it okay. was good. And then I ordered the steak and avocado salad. It was nice and light. It had a, um, a cilantro um, um, uh, avocado dressing, very light. Ooh, it was good. good. Yeah. It was good. It Tangy? was. It was. It was not to maybe what you were no, going okay. through. And then I ordered the side of the um, um, barbecued cauliflower or, 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 or seasoned cauliflower with some dressing. Did you like oh, that? Oh, yes. That was delicious. That was good. I liked it So a lot. Cafe Vita, if you're listening, we would love to sponsor you. Um, or you would love to sponsor us. Please give us a call at A Broad Productions and DoorDash. Holler at, holler at your girl. Holler. Holler. Because we like some DoorDash. We love some DoorDash. All right. So let's get into it. Culture. Okay. Culture. Culture. This is, again, a broadcast podcast, and we're going to talk about four major things about culture, food, travel, and beauty. And the first topic is something that um, we're going to get into it. And some of these, some of the weeks that we're going to get, it's going to be light and some it's going to be heavy. This is what um, I was in Puerto Vallarta. We'll talk about that in a minute, my trip in Puerto Vallarta, which was amazing. But my friend uh, Heather brought up a really good topic. And... Uh, she was uh, saying, you know, what if we talk? What if we talk about health issues regarding mm-hmm. gut health? Oh, it's not just it's you know regular health, but gut, gut health. health. Mm-hmm. And she posed the question: um, Why are we so embarrassed to talk about gut health? Okay. I.e., frequent peeing, or IBS, or Crohn's disease, or celiac disease, um, uh, constipation, and with that, with sometimes with with the uh, um, way we eat and diet, acne, mm-hmm. which comes and also can lead on to also mental health. Yeah. So um, that was a great topic. I was like, yeah, that's a great topic. That is a great topic because I'm a 46 year old woman and I, you know, <laughs> I never had issues with the pooper, uh-huh. you know, thank goodness. But I've, I'm 46 years old and I'm having issues with my bladder. With your I, bladder. And I'm embarrassed to talk what, about it. Frequently? Like you'd go to. The quick... minute I drink some water. Okay. I literally have to run to the bathroom within 30 or 40 minutes. Now, yeah. I don't know if, if I have to take a pill. Mm-hmm. I don't want to take a pill. I think it's um, just a symptom of aging, but it does. Thanks, great. Yeah. <laughs> it does have to do with um, what what you're drinking as well. I mean, if it, is it, I just, drink water. Is it just water that I makes don't drink you go? soda. Okay. And so I just know that when I have to go, uh-huh. I have to like go immediately. Like, like it I hits used to you be able to. It hits me immediately and I got to mm-hmm. run to the bathroom. Oh. I'm 46 years old. Old. What, what's going to happen when I'm 56? Bladder. Yeah, it's considered overactive bladder. Yeah, I mean, do I need seen, to go see a urinologist? Yes, for that? you should. You've seen the commercials with the bladder. You know, I gotta, like, go, gotta, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you might want to just call your doctor. I did a see a urinologist a, a while ago, okay. and he wanted to do a, a scary test in my urethra. Okay, wow. We all have urethras, right? Wait, you have a urethra I through your peni, right? You have it <laughs> through my vajayj. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is it vajayj? I don't know. It's a doctor, come call in. I don't know. Right. But I'm scared of needles, and I don't know if I they're going to puncture me no, up not. in the vag. They're not. They'll probably like put a blindfold on you and shut up. Like, and I'm going to die. The table so you don't <laughs> slap them. But no, um, you should definitely have it checked out. Oh God! Edward, don't be embarrassed about it. It's like, I'm embarrassed. Well, is that embarrassing? Is it embarrassing to say you pee a lot? No. But no. is it embarrassing to say you pissed on your pants? Yes. Yeah. But you could be the boy in the sixth grade that peed in his chair in the band hall. Oh, that's true. And, you know, scar you for the rest of your life. That's true, too. I know I got that that happened, um, too. But I always think of did that, that, happen too. to you? Not me, no. Oh, okay. Mm-mm, but I, somebody in junior high. But oh. I, that stuck with me. Mm. I don't know. It's like he was so embarrassed. Did he get bullied for that, too? No. He oh, was well, a, He good. was a bully. So maybe that was karma. <gasps> that's karma. Yeah. So there you go. And but, what do you have? Do you have an d- embarrassing... Huh. G- we're not talking about everything have health, okay. but in, ter- in terms of gut health. Gut health? Well, I do have a gut. I was going to talk about two things, but mm. yes, one for the gut. Um, 
I have diverticulitis. <gasps> That's right. Yeah, you so were in the hospital I've last year a couple hospital. times. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so it's like a terrible like uh, polyp that you get uh, and it ruptures. Diverticuli is the actual polyp. Mm. And then diverticulitis is the actual like rupturing, I believe. How did you get that? Polyp. Just years of like un- unhealthy eating of uh, and not having enough fiber in my diet. Really? Mm-hmm. So, so fiber like, you know... Um, um, more vegetables with more fiber. More vegetables, salads, you know, things that have any roughage? Any, any roughage, stuff like that. And, you know, I haven't, you know, me, I haven't listened to anybody. So <laughs> I haven't really added that much back into my diet. I tried to take a supplement at, at one point and I just, you know, you take five or six of them and then you're like, oh, they're terrible. But they did work. It did work. It does work. Do um, you not take them now? I don't take them now, but I'm, I'm fine. I just kind of watch what I eat. What I happens if you get sick again? It's painful. And you have to go back in the hospital. You were pain- yeah. It was painful. I've, I've what had, did it feel like? I've had one flare-up since then, which was in February of this year. And it's just a very, very bad pain in your lower left abdomen area. Left so, abdomen. Yeah, okay. left abdomen. It's um, And you have to drink um, you know, just water and uh, clear liquids for like two weeks. So you lost weight. I, I sure remember. Did. That was the silver lining. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. That was the... Because <laughs> when you first... When it happened to you two years ago, a year ago, two years it was, ago, it's been over two years. Two years now. ago, you were in the hospital for a week. No, you? three days. No, three, three days, days. But it felt like a week. And you lost because of that. You had to be on a strict diet. Very strict. And and you know, good for God forbid, if that's the way that people have to diet these days, f uh-huh. that. I was a hundred and sixty pounds. So how much weight did you lose? A lot. I mean, 30, 40 pounds, I guess. For <gasps> what? Right now, this very moment, I'm at 205 pounds. Okay. So there you Jeez, go. Jeez, so you, you, you lost almost 40 pounds. Yeah. Get out of town. Probably less. Than, it'd be more like 30 something because I'm just heavy right now. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I lost You look good, honey. Something. Oh, thank you. You are one of those sexy bears that oh, we all love. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. Speaking of, so uh, me, I don't have any like you know like you know God forbid constipation or frequent diarrhea, but people do, and yeah. people have Crohn's disease. Um, you know, I'm not going to say any names because I definitely do not want to embarrass anybody. But I have come across many people who have Crohn's disease, celiac disease, IBS, um, and uh, um, um, other digestion problems it, that have led. It's to like other... a rash of like uh, that Absolutely. now, right? Absolutely. There is a, a reading an argu- article. I read an article earlier this week about there was mm-hmm. this article um, from a Jane Anderson that was published uh, June 11th of this year. And she posed the question, could exposure to I can't. I'm, OK, don't get mad at me if I can't pronounce this word right. It's a uh, glyphosate, glyophosphate. It's, it's spelled G-L-Y-P-H-O-S-A-T-E. It's the active ingredient and the weed killer Roundup. Yes. We all know about pesticide. Roundup. It's a pesticide. Mm-hmm. And she's posing the question, could it cause celiac de- disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity? Mm-hmm. Now, okay. it's really interesting because in the last 15 years, mm-hmm. everybody has celiac disease. Everybody, everybody has it. Everybody's you gluten. can't eat they gluten. They can't eat gluten, this or that. You can't eat the bread. You can't eat yes. the dairy. You can't... So why in the it's, last 15 years has this, this has been this phenomenon? It's got to be driven by that. You and I are in our 40s. Did uh-huh. we know kids who were freaking uh, allergic to gluten? Mm, yeah, no, none. Not one. Nobody. Did we know anybody was glu- who was allergic to peanuts? No. 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 Did we know anybody who was allergic to dairy? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, nobody. So it, it does stand to the test of time that our food is being, I'm going to say it, poisoned. Yeah. You know, our food, our fruits, our vegetables, the way we eat are being. But it's interesting. Mm -hmm. The studies show in Europe. Yeah. The studies show in, especially in Northern Europe, that they don't even have celiac disease because everything that they eat is literally from farm to table. Oh, it is. Farm to table, farm to table. Okay. And I've traveled to Europe many times and it's very, very true. Like literally when you go to Italy or you go to... Um, when we went to uh, um, uh, Sicily, mm-hmm. this is a very poor country. This is the Sicily. This is. is the stepsister of Italy. Okay, no, yeah, Sicily. It's a little island. Yeah, right. right. It's a little island off of the Italy. It's still Italy. It's still but Italy. It's, you know, it's its own country, Sicily. It's where all the mafia people come from. 
Easy. Oh, my God. Now we're going to get a hit on. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Every- yeah, Easy. It's not where I'm, all the mafia people come from, but, you know. You know, the, the, the gay mafia. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the gay mafia. Okay, well, that's another subject we definitely need to talk about because oh, that's a it, myth in Hollywood. It, it exists. You think the gay mafia? Okay, this is off sure the cuff. Has. We're off the cuff off now. The cuff We're now. off the script. Okay. All what right. is the gay mafia, Edward? Well, I, it's it's it is a an elite circle of gay men that are very powerful in Hollywood. Yes. Or it, in in the entertainment industry. Period. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's all coming out in the wash, as you know right now. So there's a gay mafia and there is the freaking Illuminati. Really? I don't know about that. <laughs> but, I mean, allegedly the Illuminati has been around since the dawn of time. Since the dawn of time. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, you know, Madonna's in the, the head and Beyonce's the head. Yeah. And, you know, who, right. who, who's the head, really? Well, Seriously. there was, you know, the, Rot, the, the, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, they're uh-huh. part of the, supposed to be the, the Illuminati. Right. Um, but who's part of the gay mafia? I mean, being in my position, I really can't say. But there's there's been there's been a lot of people that that I've heard it like the big like talent, little like real names talent agencies, talent, uh-huh. like yeah. like Ka. Uh, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. So, what is the gay mafia supposed to be doing? I mean, and I don't know. It's not factual. There's I know no, it's a no, myth. It's a myth. I mean, it's. They protect their own, basically. All right. That's what it comes down to. That they protect their own. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's kind of like a circle of influence. Okay. And they will influence others. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we need to find the gay mafia members and have them at this dinner table. We should. Okay. Maybe disguise their voice and put on the little. Do you thing think Sean Mendes is finally going to come out? Because he he was on the article oh. earlier this week saying he still hasn't. He said he's not gay. He's a baby. He's only what 22, 23 yeah, years old. Yeah, I mean, come on. He still has room. Hey, just let him, let him brew, let it, let him steep, let him... Bit, like a like a. Tea. Well, like we said in the last podcast, you swam in some pools. Yes, I did. And you had to, you know, it you took figured a long out. time to figure it out. You, you figured out, so maybe Sean yeah. Menes is figuring it just out. Just let him figure it out. All right. Well, that is off the cuff. Off the cuff. That's off the cuff. So what were we talking about? Oh, digestion. <laughs> digestion. Um, gut health. So um, yes. Yeah, so anyway, so my friends have issues with celiac disease and um, uh, digestion problems. And they're embarrassed to talk about it. I don't, I don't blame them. I get it. Especially for women. Mm-hmm. I think it's a, like a, like a because we're hush, always, hush. You, get, you gotta be proper. I'm and gonna call BS on that. You don't fart. Versus we demure. Poop or anything like we that. We do but poop, we yeah, do fart, yeah. we do burp. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I think it's just a weird, you know, cultural thing that you're not supposed to talk about those things. Mm-hmm. And they're hushed over it and they should be talking about it because Guys, for one, they talk about their poops all the time. They do. It's like toilet humor, right? Yes, it is. But they don't talk about their health. They mm. do not talk about their health. And oh, I've got another one to talk about, if you don't mind. Go ahead. So just two weeks ago, and this is embarrassing to me, I um, had my physical and everything, uh-huh. and so the physical came back fine. But I had uh, extremely low testosterone. Oh. So I'm like, traditionally, I've had higher, higher testo- this testosterone. This is through, this is through a blood test. This is through a blood test. So I, um, I, the doctor's putting me on, on testosterone therapy, Okay. but in two years, my testosterone dropped 24%. Due to what? Due to who knows? I don't even know. Aging. Um, and I don't know. Cause don't, you were in a, uh, you were in a relationship. Yeah. You've been sexually active for a few years, obviously, right. cause you've been in other relationships. Uh-huh. So, so it doesn't have to do with that. I don't think, but there's been a lot of symptoms that. I've had not as sexually. You weren't. Uh, you weren't sexually active. You weren't. Um, it didn't. It, you. It, 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 what your drive, your sex drive, wasn't what it was, was five years ago, ten two years, years ago. ago, two years yeah. ago. Yeah, it's it's wow. it's drastic. And the the national or the average for uh, the male drop in testosterone is only like a one percent a year. And in two years, I dropped twenty four percent. So, are you going to take a Viagra? Are you going to take no? I, I mean, it's, no, no, it's not like that. Oh. It's like it's just more like you don't really think about it. You don't think yeah. about sex. Well, maybe yeah. I have freaking twenty four percent less trust because I'm a single woman and I have not been thinking about sex. I've been thinking about my business. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is another topic we need to definitely right. We we need when I travel, I have a different attitude about I sex. Mm-hmm. I am. I I am having fun. I see. But when I'm 
home Mm -hmm. in Los Angeles working and hanging out or doing whatever I need to do and just living my life in Los Angeles, I don't think about sex. I don't think about relationships. I'm just hanging out with my friends or I'm working or I'm living my life. But when I travel, I'm I'm a different Shan Shan. I'm I'm a different person. Maybe because I am free and I'm loving where I'm at, whatever. But it's really interesting. I have more fun when I'm traveling versus um, I'm at home. And so my sex drive it's weird. This is like you're a Gemini. How do we sex. go from pooping to sex? I don't know, but you're like you're the Gemini of sex. You're Am like, I really? Two different, Gemini or yeah? Oh, yeah, that's two like, different sides. You're know, like you know two different people. But when you leave town, you're like uh, a sex maniac. And then when you're you're here, Easy. you're just like all about the career. Well, I don't that's know about the way sex it should ma- be. Like <laughs> focus know. on your career and then play on your playtime. Oh God, my mom and dad will never hear these. <laughs> mom and dad, this is real talk. This is where you're gonna have this to edit. Talk. This is what is. This is real talk. They're gonna be mortified. My mom and dad are they're, they're like they're 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 Jesus and Mary Jane. Your mom. Like mama, my mom and dad are really like I, I, I can my never. My mom too. Yeah, I don't so, know if they'll be able to listen. Well, to the, they, they, I'm gonna have to give them the serious G-rated version right. of the podcast. Just, uh, don't listen from 30 seconds in and like <laughs> 20 seconds from the end. Oh, you're gonna have to edit that. Just hear everything. In it. We'll hear about. We'll talk about flowers and right. So food, fried chicken or something. Okay, fine. Um. Okay, so. That's the topic that, you know, that, again, we're talking about gut health. What are the what are the things that you guys are embarrassed about? Chime in, comment yeah. below, comment, make some comments, send some comments to to the podcast so we can really have a good discussion. Um, next on the uh, um, the schedule, which is kind of tied to food, obviously, we had the biggest like national before Thanksgiving because everybody was up in arms because of food uh-huh. and Thanksgiving. There was a huge romaine scare. Yes, I remember lettuce about scare. That. Yeah, romaine yeah. scare last week before the holiday, and it was due to E. coli. Mm-hmm. And I see that you made these notes to said what really is E. coli, and I'm glad you wrote this definition. E. coli is a bacterium commonly found in intestines of humans and other animals, where it usually causes no harm. Some strains can cause severe food poisoning, especially in old people and children. Yes. So, so we're safe. So <laughs> we, I'm not a <laughs> Well, it's safe, safe in some circles, I guess. But it was but, so bad uh, last, I guess, a couple of weeks that there were some cases of people passing away. Yeah, there were. So uh, that's mm. bizarre, like because it's a it's a plant. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's lettuce, and it's yeah. like you only normally I only think of of bacteria on food that's spoiled meat or something like that. Yeah, you think that. But E. coli actually <clears> comes. <throat> you can get it from uh, uh, bad hamburger meat. Yeah. Um, any kind of wa- uh, vegetable that's been cleaned by contaminated water, or vegetables that are um, you know in this in the soil of like manure. Yuck. I mean, everything is. It's fertilizer, but well, if it's bad fertilizer, you mm-hmm. know, if it's got comes from a bad cow, I guess I am assuming that's uh-huh. how it is. I See, don't know. The CDC made mm-hmm. an announcement that it was mostly concentrated from markets. From the central and the northern California markets. Oh, in our state. It, you know, our, our, our freaking state. Because Mex- um, lettuce comes from Mexico and some of the South American, Central American countries. Right. So they ruled it. It was not coming from those countries, but it was coming out from our, the majority of the remain was coming from our state. Central American markets, farms up there. What Rebecca, does that tell you? What did, what did what Rebecca did think about this? Who's Rebecca? Rebecca Romain. Rebecca. <laughs> did you think she was She's like. so cheesy. <laughs> She was like, yeah, you're, you're hurting my name here. You're hurting my image. I thought you were going to say Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farms. Oh, that Rebecca. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I digress, as usual. But, yeah, that's terrible. I'm glad I don't eat a lot of lettuce. But, you don't? You know, but you I should mean, be because you need to. I know, I know. Diverc- but it's just like, Diverculitis? You know, how do you say it? Diverticulitis. Diverticulitis. So well, you need to be eating more fiber, Mr. Edward. I know, I do. Yeah. All right. Well, well I'll remember do. that. All right. So... Speaking of Thanksgiving, um, how was your holiday weekend? What did you do? It was very good. We had a big, big uh, dinner party at, at the house. Nice. There was. <gasps> I saw pictures. Yes, you had a lot of people a there. A lot of people. There was 18 people there. Good Lord. Um, and, and a rabbi, which was a female rabbi, too. I was like, wow. I was talking to her like a lot of the night. She was mm-hmm. fantastic. Wonderful. Um, yes, one of our friend's friends. And it was a lot of family there, not my family, but my friend's family, because uh, we were there at mm-hmm. her place. Um, ate a lot. Good. 
Um, didn't do a lot of shopping the next day, though. That I thought you didn't we would do the do. Black Friday. Did a little bit of Black Friday, but not a lot of it. I okay. Was, I did a lot of looking, kind of like just online, ideas. or did you go actually physical? I shopping? went physically. Okay. Yeah, and bought a few things. But um, how about yours? Yours is way more exciting, so I'm dying to hear. <laughs> we went to Puerto Vallarta. Amazing. Amazing. And this is my second year going for. I mean, I've I've been to Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta four or five times already, but this is my second time going for Thanksgiving holiday, and it is not that expensive. It really isn't. When you, we booked it also seven months ago, when you book it in that, you know, good amount of time, then you're really going to get good, you know, flights and whatever. So we stayed at the, uh, uh, this is the second time in the condo is called the Pinnacle Properties or Pinnacle Resorts. Pinnacle. I've heard of this. Yeah. It was fantastic. It it's, looked amazing. It's amazing. It's two blocks from the beach. Good God. It looked like you were on the beach. Like, yeah. really, like you, that infinity pool looks the like infinity you had rolled pool, right into the water. It's fantastic. It's a rooftop infinity pool. Uh-huh. And, you know, you can get these um, vacation units either on VRBO or Home Away, or you okay. can just book it directly through the Pinnacle um, Resorts. Got it. And we, I think we booked it directly to there. And we went there from Thursday and stayed until Monday. The weather was fantastic. Good. It looked amazing. It was, every day was it great. It was coldish here. It was coldish here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saturday, we had a little bit of an overcast, but it still didn't stop us. Obviously, we were out, about, out and about. So Thursday, we got in. We had dinner at our favorite restaurant, La Palapa. Oh, La Palapa. Which is Lapa. That's literally the on the beach. About. Right. Okay. We had a Thanksgiving dinner. I mean, some people had Thanksgiving plates or Thanksgiving themed, but I had okay. I had lobster. Oh, of course you did. It was wonderful. I mean, there's like, you could throw like a little turkey beard on a lobster <laughs> and call it a turkey. And it was packed. The restaurant was packed. So we're it very was. grateful we made reservations three months you, ago. It was at, you guys got in at six and it was later or dinner Our was Our dinner six? reservations were at 7.30. At 7.30. Yeah. So you literally got to the airport. Right. Dropped, just got dropped to, their stuff. Dropped all freshened the place, up. Boom. And, and went, went to, to dinner. dinner. Went okay. to dinner. Good. And so it How was. How many was there? It was uh, my friends, uh, Heather, her husband, Corey. And then uh, 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 Sharon, her boyfriend Ken, and then as you know, Kirk, Kirk. and Rick mm-hmm. were there. They 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 hung out too with us. And then Kirk, um, and hi Kirk, hey my, Rick, hi Kirk, hey Rick. <laughs> um, they invited uh, Kirk's one of Kirk's clients was in town, oh, okay. and so they joined us as well. So it was oh, about fun. a good. Uh, it was eleven of us. Oh. For dinner. He texted me photos from the pool. It I was texted great. you and he was like, he, he, uh, he yes, that's photos right. And was like, I don't know who you were with. That's right. Yeah. Some other dudes behind you guys. And so it, it was a great like a evening. Lot of fun. And then the next day we all went, uh, well, it was uh, our core group. Um, five of us went ATV. Oh, yes. And okay. we went to, it was an awesome little excursion. Uh, we went in the mountains mm. and we, we, we stopped by this river in Puerto Vallarta and then we had lunch and uh, came back and that was really fun and then um, we were pretty toasted from that day from that evening and we went in the pool and you know then all of a sudden the party was in our room and we hung out in the room and dancing and everything and then um, I think we me, me and Heather and Corey, I think we went to bed at 10 o'clock on a Friday night. Really? Which is fine because, just you know, fine. You're day done. drinking? Oh, it's the devil. We love it, though. It's the devil. It's the devil, but when you do the day drinking, uh-huh. you're going to go you're to bed done. at you're 9 done. and I'm not, I'm done. Yeah. I'm not complaining. I don't need to trip the, uh-uh. the lights fandango. No, I don't either. In Mexico at 12 Mm-mm. o'clock at night. Screw that. No. I mean, I never thought I'd ever say that. You know, back in the day when I was in my 20s and when I was in my 30s, it would be like, we're going... To bed at two or three sure. o'clock in the morning right two or three o'clock in the morning now i'm dreaming i'm dead i'm about my tea and the cough in the morning Me I, too. i'm not up at two or three i'm o'clock closer in the to waking up than i am going to sleep at that point <laughs> oh god you know preach <laughs> totally preach uh saturday heather and sharon had to do with the, she they signed up and to do some time sharing and that was their day i'm like i'm not doing no time sharing presentation hell no but they went to see some time sharing presentation Oh, and no, then that's, her, that's, oh, I was like, no, no, no good. But, you know, they got a free massage okay. and lunch out of it. Right. And then their man went fishing. So they went on a fishing little excursion. And I hung out with um, Kirk and, 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 and Rick all day at the pool. Okay. And the weather was fantastic. Oh, my gosh. And then Sunday, you know. The the guys who were hanging out they love football I love football but I'm not I'm not gonna spend my vacation yeah, I'm not gonna watching go to Mexico football. Watching football are you, are you kidding, kidding me, me? no uh-uh. please bye no bye I'm gonna be at the beach or I'm gonna be pool so they went to go watch the game again on Sunday and yeah and I'm a, I'm a big Green Bay Packer fan and right. you know and it was were a big playing? important yeah they played they oh, played against okay. the Vikings of right. course they lost okay unfortunately. 
But I'm, you know, I'm in Mexico. I'm not going to watch the game and I'm not going to watch football in, in Mexico. No, you're not. So they watched again on Sunday and I'm like, I'm going to hang out with the beach again. So we went to Montebar. You mm. know what Montebar is? Mm-hmm. Big, big, um, uh, very, very famous beach club in Puerto Vallarta. We hung out there, had a great time and came back. And then um, a couple of people left to go home on Sunday night. And then on Sunday or Monday, we went to breakfast, walked around and it was time to go. It's amazing. Perfect. It's Perfect amazing getaway. when a four or five day vacation can be like in a blink. Yeah, it, it does. And you planned for this seven, eight months quickly. ago. Yeah. You know, so but it was no a drama. Great... It was good. No like, drama. No it was drama. fine. It was fine. Amazing. It was a great time. It was good. It was, you know, Heather's my best friend. Okay. So good. I spent time with her and we got to chit chat and hang out and stuff like that. So it's always good. You always want to have some time with your friends. It's, you know, it's invaluable. It's invaluable. So very, very good. And so you had a good time. Everybody had a good time. I did. And it's, now it's on to the next, you know, it's all, now, it's like Christmas now, now it's Christmas here, time. It's like, oh, now it's Christmas more, time. More travel. And with Christmas time, what do we expect? Big, huge movies. Oh, big, huge movies. Big, huge movies. I'm looking forward to it. So let's talk about it. Let's them. talk about it. Yeah. So I am a big Jason Mamua fan. Is that my saying? I Mamua, think so. Mamua? Yeah, he's from Game of Thrones, right? He's, yes. Yeah. He's so freaking delicious. I mean. I would bite that thigh <laughs> he's so hot he's so hot I, oh, God, I would probably so say gorgeous. I'd say a few things but I, I, I get in trouble <laughs> you can't say a I'm, man is good looking when a man yeah, is good looking I'm sure I can but yeah he's good looking okay. very good looking <laughs> You just not. You just can't be as passionate as I am. Exactly. I and understand. Can we talk about Dolph Lundgren is in the show? I didn't even know he's in this movie. Is he still alive? Evidently, he is. And I guess he was in Creed. I guess Creed Two. Oh he? yeah, because because um, he will. He's I, the. I must, what do you say? I must crush you. I must you. break you. Or break, uh, break, break you. I break you. I, 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 I must break you. I thought it was I must crush you. <laughs> Maybe it is that. Did you know Creed made fifty five million dollars? It killed it. It, it crushed it. it. It crushed it. Sure right. Did. Yeah. Um, Dolph Lundgren is in the movie? I didn't yeah. know. Like I said, I didn't know he was alive. But Jason Momoa is in this movie. I love him, but I don't right. know if I'm going to see this movie. I don't think so either. It's and Amber, it Amber Heard is also in it. You know. I don't even know who Amber so, Heard. Don't yeah, even care so. who she is. <laughs> um, but you know, Nicole Kidman is in the movie who plays... For like a second. Plays his mother. Right. So I'm interested I mean, to see, see what, that, what but... role... She's. We've seen the trailer. If you've seen the trailer, you've seen the entire movie. It looks. Like. I think it's so. It's so long. The trailer. The trailer's really yeah. long. I think that the 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 dialogue's a little cheddary, cheesy Gouda. Yeah, it seems. No. Little goat cheese for no, me. Little goat cheese. I think we want to wait for the demand video on yeah, that yeah. one. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. What do you think? I mean, I love the franchise. Do so, you? you know, I love the pass. first two. It was over the rest. You know. You know. So this I, is. If you don't know what we're talking about, Bumblebee is from the movie. Is from the uh, tra- franchise of uh, Transformers. Right. And Bumblebee is a beloved character throughout the whole franchise of Transformers. It's a little um, it's yellow. Volkswagen. It's Volkswagen. Mm-hmm. And he's a he's a robot from the Transformers. And now they have, he has, this character has its own movie. Yep. Again, the trailers looks super right. dumb and cheesy to well, me. just wait for the, I'll wait I for don't the, know. We'll wait for the reviews we'll and see if it's good. Yeah, see what's I mean, good no one big in the movie seems to be, uh-huh. it's all CGI. Anyways, Vice. Vice looks real good. Tell me about it. I mean, look, if you have, if you have Christian Bale playing Dick Cheney. I love him. I mean, that's just like. I love him. I love him. Like I heard he he's an asshole. Either loses weight or he gains weight. You know, it's very pure. He, it's um, very. Um, he, you know, what's the other actor that I love? Who? Oh my God, what's wrong with me? I'm um, the other English actor who does is amazing. Oh yeah, um, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Yeah, he yeah. Was, yeah. He was in Hannibal. He was in the movie Hannibal. Oh okay. Um, but Gary Oldman. He won the Academy so, Award. Yeah, but yeah. not for that movie. But for Churchill. Yeah, he worked year. for Churchill. Mm-hmm. Anyways, my point is Christian Bell. Gary Oldman, yeah, they're chameleons. Very much. They're chameleons. Very much They're so. chameleons. Very much so. And they can be fat, skinny, old, mm-hmm. young, whatever. Well, he's in it and uh, my girl's in it. I, I don't know if you love her, but I love her. Amy. I love Amy Adams. Ever you since, love Amy Adams, every, right? Ever since. Love. Um, I love her. Every, I mean, it, she's not bad at anything, but did you see Sharp Objects? Did you watch the show? Did I see Sharp You're Objects? obsessed with it, right? I what? was obsessed, obsessed with Sharp. The, the, the last five seconds of the dang finale. And best TV in a while. I wanted to jump off a cliff. I, I couldn't too. believe it. I, I could too. not believe what I was watching. You guys should watch that show. HBO. HBO. Go and watch it. Demand. Watch it. Sharp Objects. It was a, it was like only what, six or seven episodes. It's six or seven episodes. And it's written, it was a, it's actually from a derived novel. It mm-hmm. was 
isn't a true story. Gillian but it was, Flynn or Gillian Flynn, Gillian Flynn, however that's you right. say it. Oh, Gillian Flynn. She, you know, yeah. Gone Girl. And she just had Widows. She right. wrote Widows, which was just a movie. Did you see Widows, by the I way? haven't seen that. Did it do very well? It did okay. But I think, you know, um, Viola Davis. Viola Davis yes. is probably going to probably get an Academy Award nomination. It was that it good? Like. Yeah. Oh, okay. I gotta talk. watch it. I but watch also it. in this movie was uh, Steve Carell, who I love. He is. What is he playing? He is. I don't know who he's playing. Steve Carell's career has just been off the chain. It's off the chain. Because this movie that's coming out, speaking of Steve Carell, he's got another movie called Welcome to Marwin. Did you, oh, see, yes. did you see I've that seen trailer? The billboards. I haven't seen the that's trailer. That's going to be the cry fest, I think, of the year. Oh. Because it's about him being, he was beat up by these bullies okay um and uh um and and he became disabled oh. mentally oh and because of his uh uh injuries okay. he uh uh had to seek asylum and creating these characters to make him better so he can also go to court also make, build some strength to prosecute the guys who beat him up what? Yeah, oh. and this is I, I I don't know if it's based on a true story. I think it's based it's inspired okay. by a true story. So he's got Beautiful Boy, which is already out in theaters, right? And he's got Vice, it's coming out, right? And he's got that movie coming yeah, out. Yeah, so he's, he's he's like Steve Carell is a working, working man. He's a working, he's a working actor. Man. So good for him. So I I'm interested in seeing. It's called Welcome to Marwell. So um, but back to Vice. Yeah, the movie is about Dick Cheney. I don't know if I want to see anything about Dick Cheney. I do. I mean, why? He, I mean, Dick Cheney. Like it was about him dro- having a heart was, attack he, every two seconds. He basically ran this country, and while George Bush was oh, like, you know, God. being a good old boy. So, seriously, you think he ran the country instead of Bush? Oh yeah. You think so? I do think that. Well, that's I have no proof, obviously. No. but you know, I'm just just going off my gut, <laughs> and we know it's bad. Gut so health. Maybe don't trust it. Gut health. Okay, <laughs> so I had some serious reservations with this movie. And I'm like, you cannot touch a classic. Yeah. Don't touch a freaking classic. You guys know what we're talking about? Mary Poppins. Yeah. Mary Poppins Returns. Mm -hmm. When I saw the trailer two years ago or a year ago, I wanted to throw my foot at the screen. Did you really? Throw my shoe like in a bad way, like like, like how like, dare you? Like how President Bush got the shoes thrown at him? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. That, I'm that. like, mm-hmm. don't you touch a classic Disney? I, I know. You already have a perfection, Mary Poppins, right. Julie Andrews, 1962, or whatever that movie came out. Yeah. When I was, you know, I was, I was born in 1972, but I just remember my dad. I don't know what happened. I guess they were doing reruns back in the day, but I remember my dad taking us to the theater and watching Mary Poppins. And I, to this day, every time, it's because it always comes out during Christmas, Mary uh-huh. Poppins, I, I stop dead in my tracks and I watch Mary Poppins. And I know every song and every scene because we watch it every day. Wow. Now you're going to make a remake. Now, I'm going to have some leniency because you know who's playing whoever the guy is. Whoever this new. Yes. Everybody's Lynn favorite. Manuel Lynn Miranda. Miranda. Now, yes. I have. Now, Lynn Manuel Miranda is probably. Four foot two. Wow. <laughs> Super short. He photographs all. He, he photographs. But Lynn Monroe Miranda is in charge and responsible for Hamilton. Yeah. Who loves Hamilton more than me? Nobody. I don't think. Okay. I have had sex dreams about Lynn Manuel Miranda. That, that much. I love like him. That much. I love him so much. Love I love him. So much. I love his love talent. I love his talent. I love his brain. I love his humor. He's, you know, he's a little dude, little Puerto Rican dude. I love him. He, he created a he created a phenomenon, phenomenon. and uh, I'm gonna go see Ding Mary Poppins. I'm, I'm not seeing go... it because of Emily Blunt. I'm I seeing it because of Lin Manuel Miranda. I'm seeing it because of Emily Blunt. <laughs> Why do you want to see it because of I her? I love her. Why do you like her? I what love is... her so much. Oh, Ever since okay. the Devil Wears Prada, I mean, when she's like, yeah, well, I'm, she was a stuffy know. the stuffy secretary. Emily. Yeah, she means you, you know. <laughs> the, so what the, else do you like, Emily? What else? You, what is it that um, you like that she's done? I just think she's a good actress. All right. All well, in all, she's a very good. She's solid. I'm going to have some side eye when yeah. I see her on the all screen. Right. You're going to be like, you're going to be judgy. I'm going to be judgy. I mean, she's got some huge, judgy Judy. huge shoes to fill. She has some amazing shoes. Julie Andrews? I mean, come on. What's I mean, next? Sound and music? I'm just, I, you know. Right. How, she's going to be Don't redoing. you even think of sound and music. <laughs> Hollywood. Yeah. Um, don't you even think yeah, of remaking Hollywood. Yeah, Rob. Don't be, don't be doing that. But we know who the director of this show I is. I do. Right? And I love Rob Marshall. Yeah. So he's probably going to do some, you know, some good stuff with you it. You think he so? Did, he did Chicago. Yeah. Which Justice. is my favorite. 
Nine? I don't I don't remember nine. Yeah, that was a musical much. that was on Broadway. It was a guy who had nine women oh, that lusted okay. after him and they all had their different stories. Oh, okay. So and he did Memoirs of a Gay. And that was a great beautiful film. Beautiful movie. That was like, a beautiful so, film. Like, you didn't have to like turn off the, the sound and just beautiful. watch it. Be- beautiful. Beautiful. And what else did he do? Into he, the Woods. Into the Woods. Into the Woods, which is a the movie wasn't that commercially great. But the musical, what, I don't know, he wasn't in charge of the musical on, on Broadway. But I think, you know, Meryl Streep did a decent job. Emily Blunt was also in that movie, too. She, she played was? the bake, She played the baker's wife. She did play the baker's wife. So, you know, they also they obviously have a relationship. Right. Well, you know what? We, we were, uh, I was sitting at work today and I thought, let me look up Rob's, you know, life and see what it's yeah. like. Because mm-hmm. I was like interested. He's like a great director. He's one of my, my, my favorite directors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so I, I Googled him and looked at his Wikipedia and it turns out that Rob's partner is actually a 32-year-old uh, actor named John DeLuca. And how I old didn't is, know this. And how old is Rob? And Rob is, he's 58. Work. Work. I know, right? So you look up Rob's, John DeLuca, if you look him up, he's a, yeah, he's a nugget, a snack. He's a snack? He's a, definitely a snack. He's a Twinkie? Yeah, but what I found interesting, <laughs> you know, and I thought I was robbing the player, but um, <laughs> what I found interesting was that uh, John does not have his partner's information on his Wikipedia page. What do you mean? But he doesn't list a partner or anything like that. Oh. But Rob lists John DeLuca as his partner. Well, is John DeLuca an actor? Is he someone of influence? I mean, he's been Maybe in he stuff. Has no- he has? Like what? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You don't he, know? He was in like a soap opera and he's done. Oh, he's so he's an movies. actor. Yeah, he's, oh, a, so he's, he's actor, a working so, actor. But he doesn't list Rob as his partner or his husband or anything mm-hmm. like that? Are they married? Or are they no, just partners? It just says partner. Oh, interesting. Isn't that interesting? The same thing about the uh, whole Jaden Smith and uh, um, Tyler Gutherie Creator story last right. week. Right. Mm-hmm. Intr- isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, the one's willing to admit it, but then the other's not. I don't care, straight or gay or whatever. All right. When you when your partner's not saying, oh, I love you as much as you uh-huh. love me, or I want to show like, my affection as much as you show me on a public scale. Yeah, and it's not there. Maybe... I have to side-eye on you that. Yeah. Gotta, I'm going to side-eye we'll you. Because that's, it. It, it speaks volumes. And, and my, I mean, okay, social media is what social media is, but... When you got a partner that's going off the rafters, I love you, and and then your partner's like super quiet. Does that say something? I think it says something. I think it does say something. I, I'm sorry. Honestly, it does. And you don't have to be so like posting pictures every two seconds and showing that you love. But if the if your partner, your husband, or your wife or your spouse is not saying, yeah, yeah, I'm my, like my partner is, you know, Rob <laughs> Marshall. But yeah, I, I don't know. Let's be honest. I don't know. How I don't know. Dated, but. That's, he's probably responsible for his career. Ooh. I don't know. I hope Rob I'm not, Marshall's I, not listening I, I to don't this know, podcast. but, you know, I don't know. Easy. I want Rob I Marshall to listen to this podcast because I, I think he's good friends with Oprah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just calling it out because it's like maybe somebody missed it and didn't put it on there. Maybe. Maybe some we can fire whoever is the Wikipedia um, editor da- data entry specialist. Okay, cool. So whatever. All right. But next is Mortal Engines. Okay. Okay. Did you see this trailer? Yeah. And I'm a big Peter Jackson fan. Uh Peter Jackson, if you guys don't know who that is, he is responsible for The Hobbit and all the Lord of the Rings movies and other movies that he's done in the past, which, but nothing tops those franchises, nothing. So, um, this is very CGI, everything CGI on this one. I mean, it's very robot y, very futuristic, apocalyptic. It's about a young girl who um, tries to overthrow some sort of, you know, um, horrible government, whatever, and it's like you know, it's 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 in the future. Um, are you interested in going to see that? I'm not. Why? I don't know. It just doesn't look like my thing. I think I would see it as a. a I think I would go ditch work and do a matinee. I'd do the screener. You do the screener. At, we're looking for screeners, by the way. If you yeah. have any screeners, just send them to us. Yeah, send them to us. We'll yeah. watch them. We'll get a review. We'll opinion. watch them. We'll give you a review. Absolutely. So you don't even you don't have to waste your time watching them. <laughs> we'll watch them for you. Because Oscar season will be coming it's up. It's upon us. It's upon and us. The... Golden Globes first, yeah. and then Oscar. So send us your screeners, and we will watch them and give you our tea on that. And and then, but okay. So the greater the greats is coming up though. Okay. And um, he's a great director. Uh-huh. He's an amazing actor. He's 90,000 years old. And who are we talking about? Uh, I wish I could whistle. <laughs> like Clint Eastwood, you know? Clint Eastwood. And this movie looks very interesting. The Mule, right? It's called The Mule. Mm-hmm. And do you know what a mule is? 
I do. It's a person that uh, brings, besides the animal, yeah, it's a person that brings drugs into the United States, Correct. Or necessarily, or, or just another you country, know, or delivers you know, it to another they country. Pack them inside of them, right? Or however, it's done, right? And maybe it's inside of a car, but there's right. still a mule. And so it looks like it apparently to the trailer, it's I'm configuring that he has to do one more drop, one maybe more drop. to save right. his family, yeah. mm-hmm. maybe to do something that he has to pay back. Uh-huh. But it is, it did catch my eye. Right now, Clint Eastwood, the man whispers, and that's how he talks. He whispers. He doesn't really. His uh-huh. voice is basically right. gone. Um, but is he directing this movie too? Did he direct? He movie? directs it as well. So he's he's, he's he's acting and he's starring and he's directing this movie. Yes, The Mule, and it comes out in December. It comes out in December. So you know that one's going to be. He's already going to have a director's credit or direct a, a nomination He'll for probably a director. Get nominated for sure. Of course, he's going to get sure, nominated. Sure. That's like the law. <laughs> it is the law. That's the law. Um, Bradley Cooper's in Bradley it. Bradley Cooper's in it, and Michael Penn is in it too. Wow. I, I really love him as well. But you know, hand to God on this one. In film school, I pitched a very similar like Uh-oh. thing about this. Yeah, so I'm like, dang, I should have done it. Did someone steal your idea? Maybe, I don't know. Oh my goodness! That was a thousand years ago, though. A thousand years ago. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I, I'm I'm looking forward to it again. Send us the screener. I'd Send rather watch it that way. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. Um. So some good powerhouse movies are coming out this season, and so I will watch a couple of them. No on Aquaman. No on Bumblebee. Mm, and then on the go, maybe not more. Not mean not moral engines. I don't know. We'll I'm see. passing on mortal as well. You are. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Peter Jackson. Sorry, guys. But, but you know what? The reviews may come out, and everyone's gonna say <gasps> stunning. Go see stunning. It. Go see it, and then yeah. I have to go see it and follow maybe. and be and be a conformist. Well, you know what? If they had a a, a dirtier character in it, that would be really maybe good. they do like a really dirty character, like something that's on TV right now. Oh. Thank you for it. That's a great lead in. Yes. Okay. So what he's talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is the new Bravo series called Dirty John. And this series is a derivative from a podcast. Hello, podcast. Podcast. It was a podcast that came out a year ago or uh-huh. a year and a half ago about a guy named John Meehan mm-hmm. who uh, manipulated this lady named Deborah Newell, Debbie Newell, um, when they were dating. Very manipulative. He was um, this uh, supposed to be this amazing man on paper. Well, I shouldn't say paper. This amazing man online. Uh-huh. And she was a single woman. Now, okay, here's the backstory. This is a woman who was 59 years old, married four times. Four times. And let me, what let age? me repeat this. By what age? Four, she's 59. She's 59. Okay. Married four times. Times four times the woman has issues with finding with making good decisions about a man. Okay, it's awful. So, this is a true story. This is an Orange County that happened in, in, in a true story uh, in 2015 2016. And uh, they met online on I think it was match.com. Mm-hmm. And he was this perfect specimen. He good looking older man as well, her age. Good in bed, treated her right, said the right good things. Good looking, definitely. But the daughters idea. hated him from the very get because he, they knew that he was a scamster. He he told her that he was an anesthesiologist. He immediately knew. And he already knew the daughters knew. Yeah. Knew that, they, knew were, the, they, they knew were on to him. They were on to him. It. So come to find out, when you guys listen to the podcast, go listen to the podcast. Go listen to this podcast. It's a narrative podcast, not it, like us talking. Yeah, it's but, not us yeah. talking. It's a narrative podcast about the, um, the, when they what what happened to Debbie Newell and John Meehan and how they found out who he really was. Just leave it at that too, because oh God. I mean it gets it's amazing cray cray. It gets so, crazy. Yeah. And now Bravo has made it into a limited television series. Exactly. And I watched the first episode. Did you uh-huh. watch it yet? I watched it. Oh, wasn't it great? It was great. It, it was, was great. great. And uh Connie Britton, if you don't who know who Connie Britton is, she played in um, what's Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights. She She's played in American, American Horror Story. A uh-huh. uh, really good actress, and she does her good. She does real. I mean, the way really she speaks. Because she really does. Debbie Newell has uh-huh. a very soft spoken yes, voice. Very soft. And very. so Connie Britton really encapsulates her oh. encapsulates her character. And the the Jean Smart's character. Oh, the mother. Totally. She was like, oh my gosh. I know. And we talked about that, I think, I privately. Oh. And I was, how could anybody be that way? But, how could anybody you know, be? Once but, you guys listen to Dirty John, there's another side of the story about Debbie Newell and her mother and the whole family dynamic and why 
they were so forgiving and why they gave this man or Debbie has given men in her life many chances. Mm, they have too many chances, too many chances. Yep. And it brings up to an art. It brings up to the conversation. Like when you find out that your friend's dating some psycho, do you say something? Yeah. Yes. You say you something. Do. Of course you say you something. Do. So anyways, go check it out. Um, another thing, Michelle Obama's book. Oh, yes. I've been wanting to read it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I definitely going to get it. I just haven't had a chance. I'm going to buy it definitely. But she sold 1.4 million copies. Wow. Already? 1.4 million it copies in out. less than a week. It's a week. Yeah. Yeah. Less the, than a week. the um, what do you call it? The New York seller, I think, list came out yesterday. She's the top one, number one. She sold 1.4 million copies in less than seven days. And Trump's Art of the Deal. Uh-huh. Sold 1.2 million copies, but guess how long it took for him to sell 1.2 million copies? Probably forever. 32 years. 32 years? 32 years. Oh my gosh. (laughs) So you got a woman (laughs) who has all this inspiration and all this, all this awesome, you know, awesomeness behind her. And obviously she is rocked. Yeah. You know, this nation mm-hmm. to a good positive um, um, stance. And people want to hear from what she has to say. See what they want to hear more 1.4 in a week? Are you freaking That's kidding me? That's a lot of books. And so good for, her. good for her. Good for her. And then um, we're going to talk about it. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Madge. It's Madge. It's, it's the Madge, Madge Minute. It's the Madge Minute. It's the Madonna it's the Madonna Minute. Minute. Madonna, 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 Madonna. Fossey, Fossey, Fossey. Fossey, 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 Fossey. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have today about her? Well, well, you you, you take on this because okay, so you, you got like, this information. I mean, there's always something like, always. you know, always something going on. But I just, the latest news was Glamour Magazine named her MDN, MDNA album released six years ago. I can't wow. believe it's been six years ago. The Ultimate Divorce Album. <laughs> Why? And I guess if you listen to it, there's a lot of there's a lot of hate. There is? Yeah, there's a lot of hate in that album. Like, um, you know, you, you know. You screwed me. I'm yes, gonna get you back. yes. And uh, she, reparations. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to shoot, gonna you, shoot you. Oh, my God. And that song, what song I can't is remember. that? I don't remember what it's called, but it's just like she's going to, when she says, die, bitch. Oh, my goodness. Remember? I don't remember that you know, song. It's just like a very violent like record and wow. uh she was going she was mad her, she was going through her divorce with she with six guy years ago right guy well, Ritchie. it was actually a little bit uh longer than it's been longer yeah, than that she's been divorced but with that guy was, Ritchie for i think years that ago. was the first album that she really did after the divorce like, oh. she was like working her demons out through that album so speaking of guy Ritchie is the one who's de- who's um directing um the new aladdin movie coming out this summer oh i didn't know that yeah with will smith i didn't know but he has a huge you know resume but he was huge madonna's resume. ex-wife yeah yeah ex-husband, ex-husband. <laughs> well maybe maybe probably Whatever. probably was no. ex-wife he was he's he was probably the missus <laughs> let's to, be honest when he was madonna. yeah, yeah. I'm like oh, that'd be fun is he good looking mm. he's just like a average looking british guy oh, not, okay. not bad looking but yeah. looking. Yeah. okay so what are your plans this weekend edward uh, this weekend, goodness, you know what? I'm looking at cars. It's been the, uh, the oh, that's of right, because you were in a so, car like, accident. Yeah, it's in a car accident ago. a few months ago. I still haven't bought a new car, but the Uber's been working out, and we've been yeah. spending the car. But um, looking at cars, maybe doing a little bit of shopping. Okay. Are you gonna get another Audi? Yeah, I'm gonna get another Audi. Okay. It's like, yeah, I'm okay. gonna. I've been. You love Audis. Numbers. I love the Audi. Why? I don't know. It just does. A nice driving machine. Okay. It drives really well. Okay. All right. So, I don't know. It's just, oh, me, I'm a Beamer girl. You like a Beamer. I, I like an Audi. Beamer. Yeah. Um, but we're you? going, um, this weekend, we're having our little annual uh, girls um, weekend getaway. Not a getaway. My friend, uh, Cece, it's her turn to host. And we do every year and trade off turns. And we're doing a, um, a little a girl, little girls. I kind of said little. We're not little. Little, yeah, little girls. Us girlfriends are getting together for a slumber party. We do an annual slumber party. Uh-huh. And we're just around this time of year. We do a gift exchange. And, and you know, we're going to... Let's be honest. It's just about eating and drinking. That's it. And laughing. Uh, an we're, excuse. We're probably going to go to bed at 8 o'clock at night right. on a Saturday night. Right. In our pajamas. Day drinking. And night. we're going to do makeup and do facials and just right. hang out and be like girls. All right. And, you know, real quick a segment. I really believe in sisterhood. I really believe in sister friends. And I had the opportunity and the blessings of having best friends that I've known since I was five years old. That is golden. And I think it it is golden. I still love my friends that I grew up with since I was five, six years old. Yeah. And these girls that I'm going to be hanging out with, I've known them for what, over 25 years. Yeah, they're your friends. They're really good friends of mine. And, you know, we don't always get along. We have arguments and everything, but we do come together. We love each other. And I really believe that sisters, I don't care if you're 20 Mm -hmm. or you're 80 right keep your friends as much as you can sure we're all going to have our different ways and different opinions and different roads and different destinations in our life right but we always come together and these are the friends are these the friends that you could like 
not talked to for like 10 years. Not yeah. that you wouldn't. Not but, that I wouldn't. But, but you know, like it, you just pick up where you left off. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's yeah. it going? Yeah. Even how if are it's you? a What's year going or two, on? whatever. So, yeah. Hey, where yeah. It, you pick, that's a great example. You pick mm-hmm. up where you left. It's and like you have no, speak. no time right. has passed. Right, right, right. Love and then that. we talked for four hours on the phone. Yeah. If that was the case. Right. So yeah, I'm going to hang out with the girls and I'm, I'm in charge of making, I make these awesome little su- uh, sushi nachos. I'm going to make them for oh, appetizer. Sushi nachos. But we, all we do is eat. Right. We're gonna eat. We're gonna drink Chardonnay. We're gonna drink some Rombauer, some champagne on on Sunday brunch. Okay. And be fat and lazy and 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 sit in our pajamas all day. Get after it. I and we say can't wait. Just do it. We Sounds can't like wait. Amazing. We Sounds need amazing. that. And so I'm I'm not traveling. I'm just gonna be visiting my hometown, spending the night for the night, and then coming home Sunday. Well, that's that is a fine weekend. It is a fine ahead. weekend. And it starts tomorrow. Yeah, I leave tomorrow. It's good. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'm getting my tomorrow nails afternoon. done. Yeah. Okay. Well. So what? What? So what did you find out in this day in history? Well, is that we're already to that time in the in the show? Goodness. Good lord, it's amazing God. how time time flies. flies. So, time flies. But this day in history in 1900, mm-hmm. uh, Oscar Wilde dies in a Paris hotel room after saying, uh, saying of the room's wallpaper, one of us had to go. Ooh, so did he? Did Oscar Wilde kill himself? I guess he did. What? One of us had to go. And he was very extravagant. He, you know, was, he very, was very well, out honey. Just you like don't, he you're invented, not. He invented a whole. He was very. He was. He, yeah. He was very flamboyant. Very flamboyant. So, so you know, anyway. everyone knew that he loved the men's. Yes, he loved the men's. But I found that interesting. I didn't. Did one he of kill us, himself? One of us had to go. All right, I, I don't know. I, we would have to check that out. Okay, I did, but I'm, I'm assuming right he now. probably did. But I'll go. I'll, I'll keep running through go the ahead. dates here. So in 1935, um, non-belief. And Nazism was proclaimed grounds for divorce in Germany. So you mean to tell me that if you weren't a Nazi, you were going to get people would leave you? I guess you could say like, "Hey, my spouse doesn't believe in Nazism, so we're going to get divorced." And it's going to what? Be, I guess. I mean, isn't that bizarre? That's ridiculous. So crazy. Um, my favorite date: 1982, Thriller, Michael Jackson's second solo album, released on this date. In 1982, it was produced by Quincy Jones, and it became the best-selling album in history. Wow! To this day, and that's amazing Isn't because that crazy? it is it is the real album which I love. That was my first album that I bought with my own money, my own um, was allowance. It really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a great album! Oh my like god! From it the still, first it note still to the last, the, the, the day of time. What One did you find best. out on Mr. Wild? He died destitute in Paris at age 46. My age! Wow. He was in prison. They imprisoned him. Oh, he's in prison. Because of his, I think because of his homosexuality. Oh, my gosh. Um, I, don't quote me on that. I got to read it. But it looks yeah. like it says here that uh, uh, in circumstances of his imprisonment and early death, and he died at 46 years old. So in 1995, mm-hmm. Operation Desert Storm officially comes to an end. Do you remember that war? <gasps> yes, I remember that war. I mean, remember it was the like, general? Yeah. What, was the, what was the famous general's name? Uh, Schwarzkopf. Was it Schwarzkopf? Schwarzkopf. General, general Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. Okay. Yeah. So he made that war really famous. Really or famous. Or the media, even like, the media made him I remember really it famous. was like Desert Storm. It's just like, it was very, we were just very young. It was like 1920 when, oh, yes. when it happened. Yes, I yes, was yes. at least, you were younger than that. FYI, The Picture of Dorian Gray, that's by Oscar Wilde. That's Oscar Wilde. There you go. Yes, the 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 the, the, the picture that eight, never ages. The picture that no, never ages. No, the picture ages, but the, the man, man doesn't. does not. Because he was cursed somehow. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. Yep. Well, on that note... On that note, I want to say, ah, Edward, it was so great. Again, we um, have accomplished something that I've always been dreaming of um, for a while. Mm -hmm. And and thank you so much for being my partner. Tune in next week for a brand new show with sizzling topics, new tea, and a new perspective from abroad. Eat the seed.